Hello and welcome to another tour by HawaiianShirts.com. This time it's in Finland and Helsinki. And we're going to be visiting the Bella Flea Market. Monday to Friday, 11 to 7, Saturday 10 to 4, and Sunday 11 to 4. And there's a two hour parking limit, and there's not a lot of parking. It's a, it's in the middle of the city, a bit of a indu former industrial building. In each section you see here of shelving or clothes rack is a separate vendor. There may be one vendor has multiple sections, but that's not the point of it. The, this type of, uh, setup reminds me more of antique malls. Now, I think this might be an interesting solution over on this side of the pond as well. They have a number of these. This is the first one I'd visited, but I did visit a few others later on. So what you find it, is that it's not at all organized in any type of manner. So if you're looking for clothes of, for, of, of a certain type, it could be anywhere inside this place. If you're looking for hard goods, it may be in an aisle that has primarily clothing, but if you look at it from the end. And you're going to be, for better or worse, you're going to have to spend some time. The large facility, as you can see, the aisle goes a long distance. And I'm not showing it from the ver very end of the aisle either. And we're going back and forth with items of on hangers, others with shelves. So as I said, you can you're gonna spend time here. There are other areas of the uh, the facility that have locked up cab cabinets similar to what I find in antique malls but these are all just thrifting some are new items some are used items but the main thing is these are all individual different vendors selling what they choose to sell some obviously have a section of floor so they can display furniture or some other mechanism that the vendor, the facility allocates uh, and rents space. Same with these tables of, of what you see, glassware coming up. Shelf is straightforward. And the artwork on the wall, well, something separate but there are, are some areas that are tables so I'm not sure if it's the entire table or well it's not really critical it, it, it's just the point is that there are a number of different vendors in this facility I'm not talking just two or three I'm talking probably a couple of hundred of them and you end up with uh, a nice variety it's curated for each individual vendor, but it's not necessarily curated into a department-like setup as, as, as our charity gift shops tend to be, where they have women's clothes in one area, men's clothes in another, hard goods in another. Interesting selection of materials that they have. I had... Uh, a long time to edit. There was so many people in this location, and I had to. I kept snipping out people, and it would leave just tiny little bits of video left behind, which don't don't transition from one to the next. So it tends not to be so much of that. Full sets of uh, China 
for ceramic ware, bubbly selection. You need to make a decision on what you want to focus on. Now, recorded media that you see here, if it's a DVD, it probably won't work if you're if you're if you have used a North American DVD in your DVD player, it can only play North American standards. The encryption is geolocated. And there's, there's a way they did it. So that once you use the DVD in one machine, you can't use it for a different region of the world. So if you really wanted to, you could actually get one of a, a, a DVD player that's never been used anywhere or it's been used only in, for example, the region that you want it from. Complicated. It's easier to stream the stuff than it is to use up DVDs like that. I learned about that with uh, computer DVD drives as well. Similar thing. Some of the wording on these is not really appropriate. But I'm sure we've seen similar kind of uh, mugs in your home area, which have a uh, particular slant to them, let's say. This was an interesting piece. It is costume. It's, uh, I didn't get it, but it, it grabbed my attention like the magpie eye. If it's a belt, it's quite small. If it's a necklace, uh, it could be a bit longer, I suppose. I'm not so sure I'd go with a used uh, US, uh, one of these ba battery backups. You don't know their provenance. You don't know how they were stored. Uh, it might be OK. They were brand new, and they're just being sold here. That's OK. continue through the store. As you can see, there's some small appliances, clothing, shoes, purses, a bit of costume jewelry, winter coats, light clothing. I was here in October 2023, so that's why you're seeing folks wearing a bit of cooler weather clothing. <clears throat> and yes, there were things that kind of may might have looked like they could have been Hawaiian, but they were women's clothes. Sewing. You really never know what you're going to find in a particular section of the aisle. Sometimes I got stuck because of other shoppers. And I'd rush past that section a bit. So this is our second time getting back to those tables, and off we go on another round. I think there are five or six aisles that run one end to the other with cross aisles. So there was a lot of things to see but not a lot of things I was looking for. You will get to see something I was looking for later on. There were, I, I had been given a list of certain items to look for. 
this location did not have all of what I needed <clears throat> and it would have entailed running across half the country to get some of the items and they all would have been about the same price. In the end there was an interesting resolve to the matter. I'm not sure if I'll post that one in a video but it was an interesting uh -oh. Situation. Nothing un untoward, everything went very nice and smooth, and I got what I was supposed to get. But we had some concerns considering how, how where it was located and the time of day. It was all quite pitch black because the, uh, there was no moon that day. Or rather, night. And it wasn't that particularly late, but it has to do with the being that far north, the uh, sunset so much earlier. So the hangars that you see, they were, they're all, the, everyone uses the same hangars. So you don't have to bring your own. And this store, obviously, this facility then doesn't have to worry about which hangars can go with the clothes and which hangars stay at the store because they all stay interesting uh, blue glass piece it could be used uh, in a number of ways I was on the lookout for a winter coat still in this one. As I mentioned in my previous video, uh, I did obtain one, but not not at this early in the trip. And it was a really interesting place. Each vendor looks after their own space, so depending on when they were last there, the place will look more neat or less neat. Th this looked interesting, but no. At this point, I had not determined that I would be going back with uh, an extra piece of luggage as I traveled with only carry-on, so I wasn't looking for anything that would be heavy or bulky. Lots and lots and lots of stuff. From little kids, furniture, is, it shows up at just about anywhere. As I said, you have to actually go down every single aisle to be able to see all the items that are available. You can't just skip whole sections because, oh, that's just clothing, or it's only men's clothing. I won't have to go there. You do, because they're all mixed up. This looked promising. 30 euros wasn't bad, but it wasn't the size I needed. Not even close. Voracious readers, but not a lot of books at this facility. There were books, not, not racks and racks of them. Well. There you go, you get the recorded media there. And then somebody's selling bottles of detergent. 
the sign it, it refers to the change rooms below so you can try out items that you're considering to obtain. And they had a whole row of these um, change booths. So you could try out stuff. But they only let you take three items in. So they have a certain amount of uh, monitoring of this. It's near the cash desk. Here we're seeing some new items. Somebody is selling these uh, shoulder patches, as they call them. And then you get some glass cases. There's an interesting Gillette razor. I put it to possibly as early as the uh, late as the night, 1950s, but it could be from pre before the Second World War as well. They've been around for some time. Interesting glasses. Price wasn't too terrible. And there's one of the items, that candlestick with all the bumps. Now, there are forgeries that look very good. And then there are the proper ones. And you have to have to have been schooled a little bit to know the difference. The fakes are a little more of a, a little too even, whereas the authentic ones, which were done in wood molds, originally at least, they are irregular. It's some really cool pieces and a lot of bland stuff. I mean, we find that same thing in our own thrift stores. So it's not a, a new phenomenon that way. And I did remember there was something I did. Oh yes, here's another piece. And they, they've been selling for and the camera. Uh, Kodak Junior 620. The 620 refers to the size of the film. The film was labeled the 620. And I think it was two and a, two and a half by two and a half negatives it creates. There's a similar film called 120. The difference between 620 and 120 is the, uh, the backing paper. Because these are uh, roll film with paper backing. So these candlesticks you see here, there was another one about just earlier. They're about 10 euros per knob up the middle. And that's what they were selling, whether it was online or in thrift stores or antique shops. But brand new ones are a bit different in that they now have a little metal cup where the candle goes. And they're about 20 euros for a bump. And I did visit the the actual town and the the work village for for Ethaba. And they had some home decor as well. All kinds of things. Some new, some old, nice cutting board that we were examining here. It wasn't terrible for price, it wasn't fantastic, but hey, sometimes it's the only one place you find that particular design. In this case, it has to do with how they uh, stained it. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd appreciate if you give us a subscribe and a single on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.